Hey there, Chad Sabalka, Remax Professionals, and this is Welcome to Denver. Today we're taking a look at Littleton, which is an extraordinarily amazing place and a special place to me as it's where I grew up and where I am raising my family today. So to give you a little bit of background on Littleton, it was settled in the late 1860s during the gold rush here. I'm walking right along the Platte River this morning on what is a brisk fall morning here in Denver. It's a little chilly down here, but this river is a giant reason why Littleton was settled because, well, there was gold down there. Littleton was incorporated in 1872 and has since grown substantially. Littleton itself is home to about 42,000 people. Now that's within the city boundaries of Littleton, but Littleton is special because it actually incorporates another 11 counties within its mailing address. And if people say I'm from Littleton, there's actually a better chance that they're outside the city limits, but inside the mailing. All right, so let's talk some numbers. If you're living in Littleton, in the actual city of Littleton, the average household income is about $74,000. But when you include those other 11 zip codes, that number jumps up to actually over $102,000. Real estate wise, the average sold property in 2022 was just over $740,000. Currently on the market, the cheapest single family residence you'll find is down in Roxborough Park. It is a property very much in need of rehab. It's listed for $350,000 and the most expensive house in Littleton is a whopping 4.6 million. Just look at how beautiful that house is. So before I go and show you some pretty cool neighborhoods and talk about houses, I want to hit on some points of interest that make Littleton so darn cool to live in. And we're going to start at one that's right over there. So these red buildings that you see here right behind me is home to Breckenridge Brewery. They started obviously up in Breckenridge. A couple years ago, they decided to make the move down here to the Front Range for a couple of reasons. They needed space and they needed water. So they set up shop here. If you've never had Breckenridge beer, it's absolutely fantastic. But the reason that this is such a cool point of interest isn't necessarily the beer that they brew. They also have an awesome restaurant called The Farmhouse that has fire pits all outside of it. They have events there year round. It's just a really, really cool place to come and hang out. It is also just off the Platte River where I was just starting this video. You can literally walk in two minutes to get to the Platte River from their farmhouse. So if you're taking a walk down the Platte, going for a run, finish it off with a beer here or an awesome, awesome dinner. Also do all sorts of events, like I said, like fireworks and all that sort of stuff. So definitely come check it out nothing better on a brisk fall morning in Colorado than a delicious cup of coffee. I want to thank my friends here at Atlas Coffee. They make some of the best coffee in all of Littleton. And I mean, just check out how awesome this space is. They share it with an, a microbrewery as well. So you can hang out in that space all day, have your coffee, get your work done and not leave. Just start drinking your afternoon beers too. So this actually brings us to our next neighborhood. Atlas Coffee right here is located in Sterling Ranch. It's one of the only major developments that Littleton has seen uh, since the early 2000s really, but it is a big one. It is a huge expansive uh, neighborhood. There's, I believe, a total of six builders who have been building down here. And we're going to go take a look at some of those awesome homes that they're putting up.
So the builder that we're checking out here in Sterling Ranch is called TriPoint. They're a national builder. They do absolutely phenomenal work. They have a large project going on right now towards the southern end of Sterling Ranch, right where they're putting in the giant community park. Right now they have 92 home sites in total. About 60 of them are actually still available. This unit right here is selling anywhere from $800,000 to $900,000. They have about a five or six month build time. So that's gonna wrap it up for Sterling Ranch. Let's go and check out the next neighborhood. Now, when you're talking about Littleton, you definitely need to take a look at downtown Littleton. Downtown Littleton is amazing. About 15 years ago, it started to go through kind of a, a renaissance where they started to put up all these awesome restaurants. You have amazing coffee shops, bars, and it's just kind of become the social hub of Littleton. At the end of the street, you have the original Littleton Library, which is now and has been for a while a melting pot that is an amazing fondue restaurant. I know a lot of you guys out there probably have them. It overlooks the mountains and it's, it's just awesome. I would definitely suggest checking out View House or Tavern if you're looking for an awesome happy hour. Smoky Fins also has an amazing happy hour and surprisingly good sushi for being a landlocked state. Uh, Palancute is the best Taco Tuesday you're gonna find. They have amazing margaritas, great tacos. Definitely check those out. There's also all sorts of little boutique shops like bridal shops, tea shops. There's an amazing butcher down here. And 90% of the businesses here are locally owned and operated. So it's great to support small business and it's also really good stuff. So you should come check it out. Brunches are amazing. This is really, really kind of the place to go if you wanna get really good food, be able to walk around and take a look at some awesome shops. Now, if you're looking for real estate around downtown Littleton, what you're gonna find is gonna be mostly 1950s, 60s brick ranches that have been largely renovated through the fix and flip boom. Um, there are a couple of luxury townhouse new build developments that are all walking distance to downtown Littleton here. So if you're looking to be within walking distance of what is kind of the, the nightlife social hub of Littleton, you can absolutely make that happen. Welcome to King Carroll Valley. This valley is situated on the very southwest corner of the C-470 corridor. It was settled in the mid 1800s and saw explosive growth in the 1970s and 80s as developers came in to build higher end real estate in the Southwest Denver metro area. There's one other big reason why this development happened and that's way down at the southern end of this valley is a production facility that was built by Martin Marietta to build the Titan rockets. Since then, Martin Marietta was merged or bought by Lockheed Martin but it is still a functioning aero production facility at the very south end of this valley. So many of the people living in this area and Littleton in general are engineers, support staff, et cetera, et cetera, rocket scientists, quite literally, for that Lockheed Martin facility. Now, here in King Carroll Valley, your price point is going to be anywhere from the upper 800s all the way up to just over $3 million if you get into the full custom build in a neighborhood called White Deer Valley. There's a couple great points of interest here. Right behind me is an equestrian center for you horse lovers. There's also up on the hill right behind my drone is what's called the Manor House, one of the original structures built here. And it is still an operational facility today. For a long time, it was a restaurant. Now, primarily, it's used for events, corporate events, and weddings. There's also a great community center with an awesome pool with a water slide. One of the best things about King Carroll Valley is the natural beauty of it all. 
There are paths just like the one that I'm on now scattered throughout the whole neighborhood. A lot of the natural red rock and uh, natural forestry is still here today. So it just makes it a really cool place to live. And the other cool thing is this whole valley is just on the inside of the first row of mountains. So it is a very secluded community. You do get the feeling like you're up in the mountains, but you're only a couple of minutes from things like restaurants and grocery stores. Plus being right off the C470 corridor gives you great access to get to the mountains for skiing and hiking and also getting to the airport in downtown Denver. So this is definitely one of the coolest neighborhoods in Denver, let alone Littleton. Now, these last two points of interest that I'm taking you to, they're not technically Littleton points of interest. They're actually in a town called Morrison. Morrison is located directly to the north of King Carroll Valley that I was just showing you. And these two points of interest are absolutely epic for lack of a better word. So they really deserve to be talked about, but Morrison is such a small town, I'm not sure I'm gonna ever do a video on it. So I'm hoping I get a little bit of leeway and I'm gonna show you these two awesome spots in Morrison here in this Littleton video. These two things definitely deserve to be talked about. So you see what's behind me, Red Rocks Amphitheater. This amphitheater started construction in 1930s and since then has grown to be the number one music venue on planet Earth. And it's, it's pretty hard for anybody to argue that. Everybody from U2 and Rush and 1970s era's incredible bands to today, dubstep is huge here, Dead Mouse, uh, Zed, all of these amazing acts and literally everything in between. My personal favorite concert I've ever seen here was an acoustic set by country artist Eric Church. The very first uh, show I ever saw here was Hanson when I was in second grade. So it really runs the gambit. This is kind of a mecca for music artists to come and play here. A lot of times when musical artists come, they have to do more than one night because it only does sit about 9,000 people. But if a huge act like a, a Luke Holmes or a Chris Stapleton come to play this venue, they have to do more than one night to accommodate it, but they want to come play here because it is just so epic. So if you, even if you never move to Littleton and never decide to make Denver your home, I highly suggest putting at least one show here on your bucket list because it really, really is just that incredible. The last stop here on the Littleton tour is at the legendary Bandemir Speedway. This is a quarter mile drag strip located just again off C470 and Morrison Road. And this place is absolutely epic. Even if you're not a big car enthusiast, I personally, I, I lean a little bit more towards that. But even if you're not, one time come out here, take in the sight, the sound, the feeling of a jet car, of a funny car, ripping down the quarter mile. It's just a ton of fun, especially if you have kids. Kids just absolutely love it. The Mile High Nationals are here and uh, they do the Jet Car Nationals here. And it's just a super, super fun experience for the whole family. So I highly suggest coming and checking out what is one of the coolest and most unique racetracks in the entire world. And also they do a huge 4th of July fireworks show and during the Christmas season, they even lease out a section of their property to do the coolest Christmas light drive-through uh, experience. We're doing it here in a couple weeks with our kids. It's become kind of a Christmas tradition in our family. So 
Bandemir Speedway is definitely one of the coolest points of interest in all of Denver, and it just happens to be right here near Littleton if you decide to make Littleton your home. All right, well, that's going to conclude our tour of Littleton. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for sticking with me. If you enjoyed this content, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and most of all, turn on that notification bell. I'm going to drop a lot of videos about Denver and the surrounding cities. If you live in Denver or are thinking about relocating to Denver, this would be a great resource to find out the ins and outs of every city around Denver, figure out which one is the best fit for you and your family. I've been selling real estate here in Denver for over 12 years. I've helped hundreds of families make the American dream a reality. I'd absolutely love to help you. All of my contact information is down below. Until next time, stay blessed, guys.